Several new exhibits are now open at the Fresno Art Museum. CBS 47's Mike Scott joins us live, checking them all out. Mike, good morning. Yeah, we're going to be checking out several of those exhibits through the course of the morning. Uh, but yeah, several new exhibits have just opened here at the Fresno Art Museum. And we are in, uh, this is the Atticott Collection. Daisy Atticott is a, uh, a local collector of art, and she has... Uh, donated some of that art for this beautiful collection. Linda Cano, the executive director of the Fresno Art Museum, joins us this morning. Tell us a little bit about Daisy. Good morning. Good morning. Daisy is a wonderful lady who has a great eye for um, collecting young artists. Um, and she has um, generously loaned quite a few of her artworks here. Some of them are from our permanent collection, but she's a great connector. And she helped young artists get started in their career made important introductions for them to um, people who advance their careers and um, she also became friends with a lot of the artists so it was really a great opening a lot of the artists um, whose work are in the exhibition were here for that opening and they were paying tribute to uh, somebody who's really advanced arts and culture in our community so some of those artists went on to much bigger and better things and she got in when they were just beginning. That's right. Uh, a lot of the artists have national and international careers. For example, Charles Gaines has four pieces here and he has a show currently at the Whitney Museum and he also just received a Guggenheim Fellowship and um, Rod Harder, one of the curators, was here. He lives and works in New York. Kay Lang has a great career going um, and so she, she really, really did help these artists get started and, and and she's just a wonderful asset in our community. How nice of her to, uh, to donate some of those pieces for this collection. Absolutely. We're, we're really grateful to her. And she's a lovely lady. All right. We will continue to show you around the Fresno Art Museum. Uh, this particular exhibit continues, what, through uh, September? Yes, that's right. Through September. It'll be here all summer. All right. Lots to see at the Art Museum. And Zara, one of our favorite events coming up here at the Art Museum. Uh, month men who cook that's right that's right you go almost every year don't you try to try to yeah <laughs> all right cool. thanks mike yeah that's next saturday all right well several new exhibits are now open at the fresno art museum cbs 47's mike scott is out there checking them all out good morning again yeah it's been fun this morning going from gallery to gallery and checking out the new exhibits that are opening uh, including where we are this is some of the artwork of emmy lou packard and she has a fascinating story can you imagine living with Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo for a while? How cool is that? Uh, Linda Cano is the executive director of the Fresno Art Museum. So Amy Lou Packard, tell us about her. She is, is a fascinating, was a fascinating woman. She has ties to Fresno. She uh, got a great commission to design and execute the mural that is part of the Saroyan Theater. So um, she also was very interested in agriculture. Her father was an agronomist and she lived in Mexico for a while when she was a child and she got to meet the Riveras and then renewed that friendship when she went to work with Diego on the, uh, a mural in San Francisco that became his largest commission. So how did you uh, get a hold of some of these murals that we're looking at this morning? Uh, these works, most of them came from San Francisco City College where the Pan American Unity mural that Emmy Lou and Diego did together um, now is housed. So they were loaned from San Francisco and also a couple of them came from a private collector in uh, Monterey also. And there are photographs of the artist with Frida Kahlo. Right. She spent, um, uh, she also spent a year with them uh, in 1941 through 1942. And um, some of these photographs are just iconic photographs of Diego and Frida. A lot of people will recognize them. And most of them were taken by Emmy Lou. Some of them were taken by Diego of Emmy Lou and Frida. So um, I think people will really enjoy uh, taking a look at Emmy Lou Packard's work because she has a tie to Fresno and also. Also seeing these great historical photographs of Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo. All right, thank you for sharing. Again, a number of new exhibits just opened at the Fresno Art Museum. Um, Zara, when we come back in our next hour, we're going to check out some of the, uh, you saw them, the fashions from Trash Chic. They're now on display here at the museum. Very cool. Thanks so much, Mike. Let's check in with Mike Scott over at the Fresno Art Museum. And you were talking about Trash Chic, which I went to last month, Mike, and it was awesome. 
And yeah, all the fashions from Trash Heek are now on display at the Art Museum. If you weren't able to go to that big fundraiser, this is your chance to see all of that fabulous fashion that was in the show. And what makes the, uh, all this fashion unique? It's all made from trash. The one you're looking at here, if you look real closely, it's made from fancy feast cat food cans and lids <laughs> and dry cat food bags. Wow! <laughs> and somebody actually wore that in the Trash Heek show. Linda Cano is the executive director of the Fresno Art Museum. And the, these were too good to just let them go after the show. You had to put them on display. Well, yes, that's right. They're, they're really works of art. And it's one thing to see the fashions on the catwalk, but it's nice to get a chance to look at the pieces up close and be able to see exactly what they're made out of. I mean, it's amazing what these artists came up with as elements to put together these fashions. They're plastic bottles, uh, as you said, cat food bags, um, there are mini blinds that are used, sardine cans, just all sorts of amazing things, the, the lids from creamers, coffee beans, just amazing elements that the, that the artists came up with. From a distance, some of these look really good and it's only when you get up really close that you see the individual pieces of trash that they use to make these. That's right, and that's why we wanted to put some of the pieces on display so people could take a close look and really get a feel for the amazing artistry and creativity that we have here with our local artists. Yeah. See, it's not just paintings on the wall that you'll find at the Fresno Art Museum. You can find a variety of different things like the art of trash -eek. All right, Fresno Art Museum, a lot of the new exhibits that just opened uh, will be up until September, so lots of opportunities for you to check out these uh, great works of art. And don't forget the big uh, Men Who Cook fundraiser coming up here at the Fresno Art Museum in early June. Tickets are now available. Zara, we will send it back to you. Fantastic. Thank you.